Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Mike Colleen at MikeColleen.com So this video is going to be about why you really do need to leave the narcissist and anyone who is narcissistic or just has a lot of issues and it's bringing you down, causing you harm, pain, you know, emotional issues. Now, I'm not just talking about someone who's going through a bad streak, say, for three weeks or four weeks or even maybe two or three months. I'm talking about people that it's just like after the love bombing phase, it just turned into a nightmare. It, they, you know, they be literally, they pick you apart. It's just misery. Life is too short to live with miserable people who there's just no change. You know, a lot of times I give you techniques um, to help you out in life. And there's a technique I gave you a while back. Uh, it's the technique of whenever you think of something or you're about to say something or anything, or, or let's say there's a, something that you do, a strategy, etc. Ask yourself, well, for what purpose? What's my purpose for doing this? What's my higher purpose for that? What's my purpose for that? It's And do it four, five, six, seven times. And it'll help you get to a, a, your original higher purpose or highest purpose. And then you're like, oh, and it gives you direction. Well, I think I'm finding out the direction of this channel because I'm, I've been doing that recently. I'm like, well, what, what, what's my purpose for doing all this? So there's an important video that will come out before this one. In fact, it'll come out on the 15th of October. And the name of that video is Expanded, Vibr Sorry, Expanded Vibrational Energy is Love. That is a very, very important video. It is, when I made that video, I was on top of the world. Like, Man, this is just, it's like I'm just hitting it. I'm nailing it. And that's what we're here for. The purpose is to feel good, to enjoy your life, to feel the vibrations of life, of love, of happiness, of joy. Life, okay, I'm telling you, God told me this. It was at the very end of my six-month awakening, at the very end. Every So every time I'd go to bed for six months, I'd get this series of lessons. The last lesson, and I knew it when it happened, just as he gave it to me, I was like, that's it. Life is a gift that was meant to to be enjoyed period the volume of this music will go down in about three seconds okay so in that video that, that uh well I'm, I'm before i'm at october 12 but when you get this it'll be definitely past october 15th so on october 15th the video is coming out it's, it's called expanded vibrational energy is love and on the clip or the first image it says expanded vib expanded vibrational love Watch that video. It is extremely important to what I'm about to say. I, I don't know how to explain it, but that video will make you feel good. It is. It'll clarify things. It is. Even, even while I was making the video, like something happens to me when I get into the zone and on that video, I was, it was like, I, I hit the target. Like I hit the bullseye 100%. That video will shift your life. So one of the messages or purposes, uh, or sorry, um, points that I made on that video was, okay, so a lot of people will listen to Sam Vaknin, and there's a lot of empaths that have been damaged and hurt, et cetera, by narcissists, and they're making videos. The, the, the problem is, okay, so a lot of you guys come to my channel and you're like, man, I feel so much better. I mean, you know, I'm going to read off a couple of your compliments recently. A lot of you have made a lot of wonderful compl compliments to me, and it has really helped inspire me because for a while there i'm like you know i don't know what direction i'm gonna go in this channel and i was going through a shift and i'm it's like this direction is we're going full steam ahead see i realize what i'm doing with you guys i am creating emotions and feelings and energy that feel good they're calm they're grounded they're they're down to earth they're meaningful they're life changing they just it they just it feels good because that's what life was always meant to be in the first place. So you've got people like um, Sam Vaknin, Richard Granite, Granin or Gannon, however you say that, and then that, that lady doctor, I forgot her name. 
And a lot of people, and, and, there are, and here's what happens. When you go through narcissist abuse, you become like the narcissist. You become very left brain. Now, I do a lot of energy healing. I do a lot of emotional healing on myself because I've been trained in all these techniques for decades. And so these other people, I, you know, they're giving, okay, listen closely. They're giving very good left brain points. Points is left brain. Okay, so left brain is always about the pinpoint. They're giving you good bullet points. They're giving you good tips. Again, tips, a left brain word, left brain language. These are all logical things, but they won't help you shift. So here's what happens when you listen to Sam Backman and, and these other people, they're giving you points and tips. And what they're doing is it's condensed energy. The point or tip is energy that was condensed into this very small point area. What we need to do is we need to get your brain, your eyes, your heart, your emotions, your feelings, your atoms, your electrons to let go and to expand so you can breathe deep and relax every muscle and every fiber in your body. So in that video on the 15th of October, um, what is it again? It's um, expanded vibrational energy is love. See, we, when we can get you to relax, let go, and, al and allow, and here's the key word is to allow, to let go of your energy and allow it to expand naturally all by itself, exactly like a helium balloon when you let go of the string. Yet all you do is nothing. You just let go. So it became really clear to me one of the main purposes and goals and direction of this channel is to create wonderful emotions and feelings and to teach you things and and use techniques to help you to heal i mean literally energetically and emotionally heal from your trauma from your emotional issues and things that have happened to allow you to let go more and more and more so finally you can begin to feel life again so you can feel the energy of emotions and feelings breathe life back into you once again like they did before. So again, you know, if you listen to Sam Vaknin or, or even an empath who's very left brain and, and see empaths, we can be left brain. We have a left brain. And so if you listen to those empaths that are like, you know, they're stuck and they're still in that fear state and panic state and they're very specific and detailed in point one, point two, and they're talking fast. I mean, right there, did you notice the shift in energy from when I started and literally I started to think and it was putting me into my forehead. You began to tighten up, didn't you? So now that I'm breathing deep and relaxing and slowing down just a little bit and allowing my voice to fall out of my mouth instead of control it, it's opening you up again. So God bless Sam Backton and, and, and uh, I always forget that guy's name. I just said it, but then and the other teachers even, you know, let's say, okay, let's say Sam Vak, no, he's, he's a very locked down dude. He has very condensed energy. Let's say he had really good intentions and he wanted to help you. He can't help you as long as he's doing it in a condensed way, because that's what we call toxic energy. That's what we call dark energy. That's what we call this word I'm, I'm missing for. It. It's lower vibrational energy. That's why it's literally dense as in heavy as an energy pulled together and shoved into a, a solid concrete kind of thing. It makes it very dense. What we need to do is to get you to let go of that and to allow your energy to expand all the way out so you can begin to enjoy the emotions and feelings of life again. And that's why a lot of you guys like this channel and that's why you guys are beginning to feel better. Even if you only feel better for a couple hours after this video, part of Part of shifting is conditioning. All right, so when I first went to an acupuncturist, Dr. Chen, one of the greatest, I, I'm, not, I don't, I'm not sure if he's still alive. He might be. I haven't been there in over 10 years. He was probably the greatest um, acupuncturist on the West Coast, maybe even the United States for sure. I learned a lot from him. Now, one of the things I learned was he said, okay, so for the first two weeks, you're going to come three times a week. I like three times a week. It was like $60 a pop. And then you had to buy the herbs and stuff, which ended up being even more than that. I don't remember. Or maybe it was about 45 bucks. Yet. So you had to buy herbs once or twice a week. I think it was once a week. I believe that's how long it was. But I remember walking out there with two bags, to be honest with you. So who knows? Maybe we bought two weeks in, in advance. So 
I went in there and you do this acupuncture. Now, when you do it with someone who's really good, oh man, it relaxes you like your whole head loosens up, your brain loosens up, your lungs loosen up, and you, your awareness just expands out. You're like, wow, just like letting go of that healing balloon. You don't push it out. There's no, see, here's the deal there's no effort. It's like you just let go. And man, did I feel good. And he's telling me I got to come back on Wednesday. So it's Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I'm like, well, yeah, I feel great. Why would I come back? Well, by about Tuesday night, I started to close up again. And like, ah, and the anxiety came back and the, that frustration and you know, all the misery came back. So then I, then I desperately wanted to go back Wednesday because I wanted to get out of that state again. Then we did it again. Oh, I feel good. And you're like, oh, I don't need to come back Friday. Sure enough, yeah, you need to come back Friday. And so we did this three times a week for this. No, I think we did three times a week for three weeks and then two times a week for two weeks. Or maybe it was three weeks. And then it was once a week for, I think, a month after. So, again, we did it three times a week for about three weeks. And what here's what I noticed. Okay. It was exactly like meditation. So when I got really good at meditation, completely zoning out, like you're like you're in a different world. Like this is like I like when you really get to this space, you'll know it. Like things are different. And then if I notice if I meditated for two hours when I went out in public, um, I could stay in that open state for about an hour. So it was half the time. I was like, okay, and that's what caused me to go from two hours to three, and then three to four. You know, just to continue to to strengthen this or lengthen the time that I could stay open. So when I went to Dr. Chen, it was a very similar thing where it's like, hey, you got to go so many times. Because every time I went, it lengthened the time that I could stay relaxed and in that open space where there's no fear, there's no anxiety. It's just peaceful relaxation. So the first day I did it, for the first four hours or two or three hours, I was like, man, I feel great. I don't need to come back one day and boom. It was literally that first day when it started closing up. I was like, oh no. But as we went down the week, it would last till the next morning. And then to the next, you know, 10 a.m. and then noon. And it got longer and longer and longer. And that's the whole thing to condition this into you so it stays. So learn learn what you can from Sam Backton. He's a, he's a great teacher, sincerely. He really teaches a lot of good stuff. I think my channel teaches a lot of stuff in a way that you actually understand it. And while you're learning it, there's a conditioning factor of the, my energy expanding and opening up while you guys are listening. So here's all I'm saying. Regardless of his intentions, regardless of, of what he teaches you, as long as he's in that condensed linear logical locked, what I call lockdown energy where your forehead's locked down, it's going to be conditioning that lockdown into you. And the whole reason, the purpose why you're listening to those people is you're like, I want out. I'm scared. I don't know what to do. This is all new to me. The problem is it's actually conditioning you to continue to lock down. No matter how wonderful, awesome, amazing, and great his information is, if we can't energetically shift you out of that condensed energy in a condensed space, we're kind of screwed. So like even right now in between what I just said, I was taking a deep breath because I'm trying to open up more and more as I'm going through this video right now. I'm trying to slow down. I'm, I'm literally doing the physical techniques that I teach you guys while I'm doing this. Because I know while you're listening to whatever I'm saying, what really matters is the energy that I'm giving off. Because that's what you're going to take on. If I'm in an emotionally free state, you're going to feel that through my voice. You're going to hear it through my words. See, okay, the left brain has its own language. It's it, words like linear, logical, get to the point. See, ladies, the reason why men always say get to the point is because the left brain is all about point. The right brain is all about bigger picture. Big picture, small point. See the difference? And you get really pissed off. But men don't know that. Like, what, what are you pissed off about? I just told you to get to the point. You're like, God damn it. So there's a, there's a language that the left brain uses. Step one, step two, step three, first, second, third, then later after. The right brain, it's all about emotions and feelings and description and descriptive languaging in depth. So unconsciously, when a man or a woman are in their right brain, 
you begin to speak this in now by the way the left brain is the external language the right brain is the internal language you begin to unconsciously use these words without even realizing you're doing it one of the ways that the right brain processes it processes communication is by using the internal language such as solid grounded whole complete connect like connecting pieces of the puzzle together it also uses descriptive languaging meaning adjectives and adverbs so it will describe things much more in depth so therefore you can get an emotional physical and here's another word i, I don't really like this word but a visceral experience where you're taking on the emotions and feelings so when someone is in this space and in this place they unconsciously automatically begin to communicate this way and it can be very emotionally grounding and that's one of the ex the experiences you guys are getting from this channel is I really work at bringing my awareness, dropping it back down inside me and allowing my energy to expand all on its own because that's how you ground your energy emotionally. So regardless of someone's intentions and regardless of whatever they're teaching you, if their energy is not at the space where, where you need to go, you're not going to go there. It's one of the things they tell us in NLP is like, look, you have to take on the emotions and feelings that your client is looking for. So let's say someone comes in, they're feeling really insecure and shy, but they want to be more outgoing and more open and they want to be more confident. So the first thing I'm going to do is going to ground myself to be solid, complete and whole and emotionally grounded and have clarity and open up and and you have an open energy and then this will transfer or at least guide I should say guide and lead that person into that direction and into that energy on their own but if you're really sh sh shy and co 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 kind of cowardly and it, and you, you you know that's the energy they're going to take on like I know I know ladies if you're listening I know right that you're like oh don't get out of that you know we're feeling good right now we don't we don't want to go back there some men don't quite feel or are not connected to their emotions as much. I would say most of the men on this channel probably are. So one reason why you need to get away from narcissists or people who are very pinpoint, linear, logical, you know, or they just don't have good energy, let's call it that, is because the more you're around them, the more you're going to take on their energy. The more, it's like your body goes into rapport with them. So when you're listening to my channel, you just over a period of three, four, five, six minutes, you just feel relaxed. So one of the, the, the main purposes of this channel, other than educating you and doing techniques to help you shift out of your problems, is to just create emotions and feelings that just feel good. It, it makes life feel wonderful. Now, I want you to watch and see how, I, how I'm doing this, because just today I realized what I was doing. One of the things I do, I try to pick a, a song that matches my energy in that moment. Now, whose energy? My energy. So the first thing I do is I get myself into a good emotional state. Usually something stimulates me. There's a video or a song or a thought. I'm riding my bike and it's just an, a memory comes up like, oh yeah, I got to share that. And that memory has its own energy within it. So I go into that state and then I look for a song that it matches it or is close to it. Now look at this picture. I pick this picture because of me, because this picture makes me feel good. It's free. It's flowing. It's open. It's there's, there's a sense of clarity. There's a sense of like, light and almost a gl glowing life inside of her. So essentially what I'm doing is I'm picking and choosing music and songs and images and I'm expressing my voice and I'm getting my body to feel a certain way because it makes me feel good inside. And I'm realizing this is ref not only I don't know if I should say reflecting, but it, you guys are connecting with its energy and it's making you feel good as well. So instead of doing it externally, which is the wrong way to do it, to make you feel good, because this is what a lot of men do. Well, how do I make her like me? How do I make her feel good? I go, you don't. 
you make yourself feel good this is the way it works when you feel good people will come around and they're, they're going to want to be around that energy because it feels good the way you talk feels good it's comforting it's comfortable it's open it's free you're breathing deep in a relaxed open way this makes people feel good trying to make someone feel good externally well that makes people feel bad it makes them feel controlled it makes them feel manipulated and people don't like that the magic secret is literally get really good at making you feel good because those people that will will be attracted to that energy belong in your energy those people who are repelled and try to get you to change out of the energy don't be that way be this way don't oh i don't like that color i don't like that picture oh change your haircut those people do not belong in your life they will only make you and the other people around you miserable see the mistake that a lot of empaths make is we want to make other people feel good but it never really works does it it's a temporary thing the goal is to become the light because then you can walk around in darkness and people can see the light and that alone makes them feel better but if you try to push the light over there and over there it keeps getting put out by the darkness in other words if you get really good at making yourself feel good, everywhere you go, people will feel good when they come around you. The more you heal, the more you exude, you experience love within you, the more people feel that love, the more compassion you have for yourself. It's like the energy of compassion becomes you it, it becomes around you and when people come around your energy they go they shift in and they feel this compassionate energy and therefore all of a sudden they're in this compassionate state that's the way it works not the other way around if you're in a bad state if you're angry mad stressed and you're like oh i'm gonna make you feel happy no what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring that energy and you're gonna bring them into that stressed angry you know whatever i just described energy you want to make the world a better place make you a better place to be around so trying to fix narcissists trying to make them happy or just they don't have to be a narcissist, even if it's a miserable person it doesn't work that way i'm telling you right now it does not work that way they have to want to change they have to want to do breathing exercises they want to have to do the exercises and and techniques and etc cetera, etc cetera, to shift their life to move their life the energy has to come from within them you cannot change what's inside them but you can change what's inside you and then bring that into the world that's the way it's done do you want to know why narcissists hurt you because they're watching you see their reality is life is misery and that no one's happy and if they are smiling and laughing they're fake they're not being real they really believe that they don't believe anyone's happy truly happy or even i don't mean perfectly happy 100 percent of the time but they don't even believe if you're happy for a couple days or a couple weeks or even for a couple moments they don't think it's real. They think it's fake and here's why because inside them is nothing but darkness not only that but even if you are a genuinely happy person they realize that they're like yeah but you don't understand what i'm going through therefore they're going to hurt you and hurt you and hurt you because they want you to understand the pain and suffering that they're going through because then they're gonna be like see this is why i'm never happy but they're watching and waiting like well maybe we can get out of this see if they can hurt you and wound you as deeply as they've been wounded and they sit back and watch can they get out of it can they can they heal the pain can they find happiness again because if you can then they then they know there's hope i can get out of this ditch i can get out of this darkness i can get out of this pain that's why they're watching you and here you are trying to fix them that will never convince them 
just like what they taught us in NLP, it's like you have to take on the emotional state that the client wants to learn how to do so you can lead them into that emotional state. And this is why they're watching and they're waiting. They want to see if you can go in the direction that they are hoping for. Because if you can, it's like you're this light, you're moving in the direction I'm going to follow. This is why you really need to start working on grounding yourself, connecting with yourself, you know, signing up for healing sessions, doing whatever you can do to heal you inside, to create a better energy within you so others around you can feel it. Okay, so by the way, again, the internal awareness course, the emotional grounding course, that I keep talking about with our coach one-on-one or, or we do a, a training together, like a two or three day training. This is how you make yourself feel better. This is how you connect with yourself. This is how you become emotionally grounded. This course is, it, it meets everything that I've been talking about in these videos for like the last two weeks plus. It helps you to heal. It helps you to become solid and grounded and happy. And, and it, it, okay. These are the techniques that teach you how to expand your energy and to come out of the condensed heavy energy and lighten up and to expand. As it says in that video on October 15th, love is expanded energy. If you guys are interested in doing a course, start letting me know and I'll set it up. More on this subject in the next video. Hey, this is Mike Colleen at MikeColleen.com. If you like this video, please click subscribe, click the like button, go ahead and make a comment. And remember, if you want to go ahead and make a donation, there is a PayPal link right there in the description box. God bless you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.